Welcome to Solar Buddy. Today we are going to learn how to generate our own online solar quote. This is very easy, very simple. It should take about five minutes of your time. And when you're done, you should have a clear understanding of how much energy you use, how much a solar system would cost for your lifestyle, and what the savings would be. With that, let's get started. So if we go to solarbuddy.com and type in an address, let's say 123 any street, S-T-R-E-T, yes I can spell, and we put in our zip code, okay, and then we hit calculate. So what I've done, I've actually typed in a real address, and as you can see, we are brought to the next screen, which shows the shot of our rooftop, and we're going to take the following steps. First, we are going to input our annual energy bill, not our monthly, but our annual. So let's say we spend $2,400 a month, and by looking at our energy bill, it shows that we used about 7,000, let's say 400 kilowatt hours in a given year. Okay, kilowatt hours simply being a measure of intensity, how much wattage you're using, and for how long you're using it. So intensity and duration. Then we're gonna go down here and we are going to select one of these panel options. Okay, so we're most of the time dealing with residential, we're talking about tilted photovoltaic, which means that the panels are actually arranged in an orientation that mounts, even though it's flat to your roof, it's still got an angle typically of 18 to 30 degrees towards the sun. So if you've got a flat roof, you would choose this option. And for most utility scale and large scale, uh, maybe commercial photovoltaic systems, then you can have rotating or tracking photovoltaic, which would actually follow the sun as it crosses the sky. But for now, let's go with tilted photovoltaic. Then we're going to select our panel. As you can see from this drop down menu, we selected the Canadian Solar 300 watt panel. And then from there, we're going to select the area on our roof, in which we are going to propose utilizing solar. So we click on, let's say, four given points on our rooftop. One, two, three, four. You can always click more, but for now, let's just say we're gonna go with these four. And it will give us an area of 426 square feet. And within that area, we can fit a system size of 6.3 kilowatts, okay? Um, now, if we take a look at our production from a system that size, then we see that that would produce about 13,407 kilowatt hours a year. The only problem is we are only consuming 7,400, which means that we are actually getting a system size that is maybe a little too large for our needs. So what we do is we come down here, we decrease the area of our array. So once we edit the points, we just simply click and drag. And now you see that we've got a smaller system that's producing about 8,300 kilowatt hours. Maybe let's size that down just a little bit more. Maybe shave off a little bit. Let's see, maybe get it just a little more. Okay. Then as we take a look, we are producing 7,661 kilowatt hours every year, which pretty much matches with our consumption. And it's going to give us a value of that energy, which is $2,485 every year. So understanding that this is the size of the system, which is 3.6 kilowatts, uh, we understand that if the gross cost of a system that size is going to be about $18,000. After you consider your federal tax credit of 30% or $5,400, your net cost is going to be $12,600. Okay? So understanding that if you got a system, you spent $12,601 on that, and then you are going to save, you're basically gonna get rid of your electricity bill. Remember, we're producing all of the energy that we need. 
So you're going to save about $2,400 every year. So a quick ROI means that's going to be about a 19% return. It's not bad. So otherwise, we can finance that. And if we take a look at our different financing options, 15, 20, or 30 year, depending upon maybe um, uh, lender financing or PACE financing, uh, let's assume we went with the PACE financing option of uh, 30 years and $83 a month, which comes out to about $1,000 a year. That means that we are spending $1,000 a year on electricity and we have no bill, which means we save about $1,400 because we were spending $2,400 a month or $2,400 a year on electricity. So that's the quick math, very easy, very simple. Uh, what you can do is you can actually get a printout of this by hitting calculate. You would enter an email address and a password to either log in or create a profile. And then once you do that, then this information will all be sent to you, emailed to you, and you can forward that to whomever else is going to be involved in this decision making process. So, uh, that being said, one of the things that uh, I think is a pretty neat feature is that when you log in or create your profile, the next time you sign in, all of this information will be saved. So then you can go back in, discuss it, alter it, change it, etc. Okay? So, uh, that's pretty much it on how to use the solar calculator. Very easy, very simple. It should give you a general idea of uh, how much you should budget when taking a look at making this investment and some of the cost and the associated benefits with it so that when you do contact an installer you can go up to here click on our installers page and it will give you a list of installers and you can start negotiating based upon your understanding of the type of panels that you want the orientation that you're going to have towards the sun and the cost benefit if you have any questions contact us at info at solarbuddy.com or you can also contact us at support at solarbuddy.com